what you do during a seizure is actually an active process. So you don't just stand there and panic. Um, you are able to do things as a bystander that help keep the person safe who's having a seizure, but also empowers you uh, with that knowledge and with actions that you can do to uh, to make sure that you're caring for them appropriately. So it it does uh, impart a little bit of structure in in uh, your role in caring for patients with epilepsy. And I think it's important because it's hard to just stand there and watch somebody have a seizure. But if you know what to do, then even though it's still scary, it's a little bit less scary. Um, and you know that you can help make them safe. And I think that's one place where um, the presentation of seizures in popular culture has been really detrimental. So in the, movies in tv shows particularly older ones you know from the 90s for instance or the 80s hopefully not the more recent ones but when people have a seizure you do see people put a spoon or a tongue depressor in the mouth um, and that's not safe and certainly you don't want to put your fingers in their mouth because the only person who's going to be injured in that case is you you might lose a finger but but it is uh, a common misperception that a person with epilepsy may bite their tongue off and swallow their tongue. And that's not true. They can have a bite to their tongue um, on the side most often, and it can cause a little bit of bleeding, but they're not going to bite their tongue off. 